My first crush was like Little Bow Wow or somebody like that, like when I was really little. And then when I got older, it was like Michael Ely. <laughs> so cute. Oh, the first movie that made me cry was most definitely Lion King. When they killed Muf Mufasa, that was just too much. Hey, I'm Kiki Palmer, and I'm getting up close with Cosmo UK. I'm very similar to Izzy because she, first of all, wants to make her family really proud, uh, specifically her grandmother, and I feel that same way about my family. I want to make my pro mom proud, my dad proud, and just, you know, push on the Palmer legacy. Uh, and then also the fact that she's really curious and not afraid to pivot. You know, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious and I'm also very willing to make a change and a shift when I need to in order to get to the end game, you know? Hmm, my favorite Toy Story character would have to be Woody. I love Buzz and I love Rex. I love Mr. Potato Head. I love Little Bo Peep. I love a lot of the different characters that are in Toy Story, but my favorite is Woody, good old Tom Hanks. My first crush was like Little Bow Wow or somebody like that, like when I was really little. And then when I got older, it was like Michael Ely. <laughs> so cute. My big inspiration growing up was my grandmother and my mom, you know, my, my family, the people that I saw every day and that just inspired me on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and then now I think my they're, they're still my biggest inspirations. You know, I have other inspirations and people that I look up to or that have inspired me in their own unique ways. I really looked up to Queen Latifah growing up um, and she's still like one of my biggest inspirations. I also like love Tyler Perry and what he's been able to represent and how he's been able to just like go from literally having nothing to being one of the most successful people that I know about. I got to work with both Queen Latifah and Tyler Perry. Um, and I got to work with them both very early on in my career before I think I even realized the magnitude of who they were. Like I, I love them for being, I think, just who they were as people. And then I started to really look at the big picture of what they accomplished and then they really became big inspirations to me. My first audition was Barbershop 2 and I ended up getting the role playing Queen Latifah's niece. I remember just everything was so new to me. I turned 10 on my last day on set. I remember Queen Latifah telling me not to eat the prop food because it's been standing out all day. It was my first encounter with prop food. I remember I got to go home with all my clothes, um, a bunch of different things. My advice to my younger self would probably be to just keep going and trusting that inner knowing. I think I've always been really intuitive, um, and I think most of the time I've, I've really followed my intuition, my gut instinct. Um, and so I would just encourage my younger self to just remember that I know who it is I am and who it is I wanna be and what's right for me. And yes, to listen and, and, and take heed sometimes to others' advice, but understand at the end of the day, no one's gonna know me and what's best for me other than me. And not to not be afraid to follow that. I actually don't own any of my old childhood toys, um, which I think is good because I'm not a hoarder, but also I wish I did have some of them just for the memories. My favorite things to play with as a kid were definitely like cooking things. I don't know why I love cooking things. Like I just love like having my own little cashier, you know, my cash register, like being a cashier. Love having my own little fake food, you know, and I would serve it in my fake restaurant. Like I would write the check and like we loved it. Oh, the first movie that made me cry was most definitely Lion King. When they killed Muf Mufasa, that was just too much. I remember when we first went to uh, the Broadway show of The Lion King, my family and I, when I was about mm, 14, 13, I forget exactly how old, but we went you know, long after I was like a little, little kid. My whole family, I remember when Mufasa died, my whole family leaned down and looked at me in the aisle and I'm like, I'm not crying because that's how often I would cry on that movie. My favorite movie as a kid was, was Goonies. Oh my God. I loved Goonies growing up. You know, when I look back on it as an adult, I think, obviously I'm sure there's a lot of things to take from it, but I think for me, the biggest thing is that like, you know, Kids, they, what they have is their imagination and their autonomy to decide to believe in something and make it real, you know what I mean? Even if it's as outlandish as pirates, you know, underground and on a pirate ship, that was their reality that they decided to believe in and make important to them and enjoy. As opposed to sometimes adults, we get wrapped up in, in the world and the, the way that the world tells us we should live our lives and tells us what we should believe in. You know, and it's this point where the lead character says, he says, you know, this is our time down here. Up there, that's their time, but down here, this is, this is ours, you know, and it's, to me, that's so representative of like what it means to be a kid, what it means to have youth and to, um, you know, endless time, you know what I mean? It's, it's a moment in time that you can't get back, you know? One food for the rest of my life? Oh, that's a tough one. 
Maybe noodles. I can never really get tired of them. I eat them a lot anyway, so yeah. I mean, I, no one wants to eat one food for the rest of their life, but if you're gonna just force my hand. Favorite sandwich, this is a good question. I got very excited about that. Ooh, sandwich. I think um, a BLT, bacon, lettuce, tomato. It's a little bit of meat, it's a little bit of veg, a little bit of, you know what I mean, mayonnaise, just a little bit of, you know what I mean? Not too much, it's just a very light sandwich, and that's why I like it. My superpower of choice would be teleportation. Because you know what, time is the thing that's like the most expensive in life to me, and if you had teleportation, it wouldn't take hours and hours or, or you know, whatever to get to where you wanted to go, but it could take literally seconds. I would love that. I would be going not only to places around the world, like from America to Europe to Asia to wherever, but I would also be like, oh, I'm downstairs and don't wanna go down, I'm upstairs and I don't wanna go downstairs, boom. You know, I would be also just like traveling around my house as well. You know, I don't think I have too many fears. If I were to say my big fear, it would be like to be in my own way, you know what I mean? I never wanna be that person that like is stepping on their own toes and everybody's like, oh my gosh, you know? And I'm like, I don't see it, you know? Like, I just never wanna be not self-aware, that spooky. You know, I'm always gonna love acting and being in front of the camera, but I think I'm really excited to direct and write and produce now at this point. Like, that's something that really excites me. I love telling stories. I'm always gonna like wanna tell stories, but I'm excited to start telling them in different ways. Thanks for watching me, Kiki Palmer. Get up and close and personal with Cosmo, and make sure you guys check out Lightyear.